Over the past year, big tech has been accused of censoring dialogue around COVID, including posts by doctors, politicians, and some in the media. Now, last month, Facebook's independent fact checkers flagged a journalist who wrote an article about the risks of kids wearing masks, posting a disclaimer under an article on their site warning partially false information. Really? Our next guest calls this trend terrifying. Joining me now is biotech entrepreneur and author of the forthcoming book, Woke Inc., Vivek Ramswamy. Uh, Vivek, uh, Vivek, welcome back. First off, what do you mean by uh, the, why does it, you find this so disturbing? Well, look, I think that Silicon Valley's monopoly on truth is actually the most concerning monopoly of all. Because, look, science depends on dissent, free speech, open debate. Yet in the name of science, they're actually censoring those tools of the scientific method itself. And I'll tell you this, Brian, if the last year teaches us anything, if history teaches us anything, it is that most of our ideas, including about science, will either be proven false or at least be modified at some point in time. And we only get there through actually allowing the marketplace of ideas to work. In fact, many of the things that we thought about COVID-19 even a year ago, right. even six months ago, have since been modified. Facebook's effect effectively getting in the way. Yeah, I remember we had to wipe down all our groceries and it's so a fake can be picked up from surfaces. Oops, that's a mistake. Remember, don't wear masks and then we'll, because it doesn't matter, it gives you a false sense of security from Dr. Fauci. Oops, that was a mistake, evidently. Meanwhile, John Tierney, he's a writer. He's been fact-checked before by Facebook. Here's a quote from what he said. We gave, the, uh, we gave up arguing with Facebook. The science feedback team never did identify inc inc inaccurate facts in the article. But this exercise obviously wasn't about accuracy. The fact-checkers were actually fact blockers. The fact blockers don't even have to pretend to find an error. They can smear a journalist and blacklist a story by affixing a vague label like misleading or missing context. And they are the arbiter. You know, there's nowhere else to go. Yeah, and this is a great example right there of Fat of, of science masquerading as politics and the other way around, politics masquerading as science. This is really, in my opinion, politics all the way down because Facebook and companies like them are really just effectively doing the bidding of the party that's in power today. They want to take down misinformation as defined by one end of the political spectrum. And I think that's actually the heart of what's going on today is you've seen this trend even ramp up as Democratic control of House and then the Senate and then the White House has only expanded. And they're effectively taking down misinformation on only one right. side of the political spectrum, masquerading a science along the way. Uh, but Vivek, the scary thing is they, they don't even realize they're hurting themselves. We're going to be going less and less to what they label or what they do and what they post because we're going to say, well, that's just Facebook. Who knows? This is politically oriented. That fact might not be a fact. It might just back up what, that, what the Democratic Party want. Well, look, we're losing trust in all of our institutions one by one. We've long lost trust in government. Now we've lost trust in our private sector. And the sad part, Ryan, is that now we're actually, as a people, losing trust in science itself. And that's the saddest part for me, is that actually true science is about dissent. It's about open debate. But in the name of science, this new church of scientism has actually put science up on the altar itself for sacrifice. And we're all losers because of it. Uh, Vivek, thanks so much. Thank you. All right. Meanwhile, we reached out to Facebook for a statement and did not hear back. Uh, and that is Vivek Renswam.